Not not that kind of bad, but like corny, too corny. Regardless, Ooh, Smash is this a genuine Saturday? I don't know. Because we have KK Slider, right? You guys, I, still yeah. I don't. I have never. I, I mean, don't play so a lot. We, of ammo we don't do the thing we used to do in Smash Four because like you can't. This right? thing like constantly needs to be updated. Yeah, it's just not a thing. So. A little bit of backstory, uh, you know, some Xeno lore for you. They used to have two separate stream su switch, uh, back in the day, it was Wii U's, for uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays. The Wednesday one actually had its clock set to Saturday, yeah. so that you could on have KK Slider on all of your, um, on all of the uh, Animal Crossing stages. But, they haven't been able to do that in the new games, because switches, you know, need to be connected to the internet. All the time. All the time. So, uh, I'm sorry, I just haven't seen KK Slider in a while. That's all this, this movie amounts to. No, I... Look at him. He's so happy to be here. I appreciate the nostalgia, even if it is not shared. I, I never played much Animal Crossing. Oh, I never did either. Oh. I just played... I just commentated a lot of sets on Smashville. Fair enough. <laughs> guess I'm a little bit too green for this... A little... I guess. Uh, regardless, uh, 157 to 65 is a pretty substantial lead, but you know what? He almost died, deep breathing down air. <laughs> uh, uh, you know the funny thing is that both of these players have matchup experience. The Rob the Wii Fit, they have tons of matchup experience. Oh yeah. Because Dill has numbers, and uh, Stock Taker has Dill, and then also, um, you know, there are uh, Zenkai who goes to a bunch of tournaments. There are a bunch of... I thought Zenkai uh, went Mewtwo. No, Z Zomba. Zomba. I always oh, get Zomba. Get confused. Uh, right. You know, Z's. Uh, they all yeah, look it's, to me. All it's okay to forget Zomba. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, no, but like, there are Rob's around here, so he yeah. also has experience in this matchup. Um, which is probably not true for every region. <laughs> yeah, the, no, the only other... It's largely East, East Coast with... Uh, Wadi and MDBA and Raffi X in uh, yeah, New England and, New Eng and then Dill and Zamba in Tri-State and, and Chia, don't forget Chia and there are not many Wii Fits outside of Tri-State no. I guess we have the, two of the best it's Numbers Stocktaker uh, and like up and coming there's S in New Jersey but he doesn't attend a lot but he's still like Tri-State yeah, yeah he's still Tri-State yeah. Uh, Wii Fit's just an awkward character that no one really wants to learn. No one wants to learn because it seems like the character shouldn't work, but then, like, she lands a neutral air and does 80. It's like, what the... <laughs> there's a lot of, there's a lot like of benefit they, for awkward I, I, characters in this I game. I can't believe that the fitness trainer in this game is basically a heavy. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Pure muscle. <laughs> just pure, I mean, I guess no, that is, part makes sense, yeah. The male one was the muscle trainer, though. The, uh, the female was the yoga trainer. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't you use that tone of voice with me. Uh, okay. <laughs> but we have, no, we have no sacrilegious people here. It's only female we fit. <laughs> Let's talk about the game a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Stunk Taker reaching his last stock, but given how early he lost his first one, this is relatively possible given uh, given how we fit. just had a lot of random raw kill power and uh, plenty of ways to make up damage because in between stocks, that's a free way to get deep breathing. So you like F tilt. Yep. And a, and a 1% heal off that I will say, also, if you notice, Dill is super comfortable shielding right now. He's just very... He, he, he's just, like, holding shield, and, like, Stockton is, like, jumping in his face. He's like, I'm gonna land at F-Tilt. And he's like, I'm gonna keep holding I'm shield. Holding sh so, you need to see some... If, if not this game, maybe, you know, in the rest of the games for the set, more grabs coming out from Stockton. Just to put the fear in Dill, so that he's not comfortable just holding shield against this character. One of the one of the things that like while this character oh, oh he sour spot sent straight up instead. <laughs> I mean, if, if, that's how physics works. Yeah, that is it. Yeah. So one of the fun things about Wii Fit in comparison from Smash Four to now, because uh, while they're overall, she works. And uh, that's one of the fun things. Maybe depends on how you look at it. it they're better overall in terms of neutral, but they lost a lot of their stall game, and their standing grab is still abysmal, but now they don't get anything off of throws. Like, down throw, no, no throw. At low percents. Uh, at low percents, they get, like, down throw back air. Uh, up throw 
up air. Oh, up, I've up, also up, seen. up, up air, yeah. Up throw, up air. And with deep breathing in effect, grab is actually really scary. I see Wii Fits get kills all the time with deep breathing, like forward throw at the ledge, back throw at the ledge, even up throw. The, the grab isn't super threatening until she gets deep breathing, and then it can really kill. But the yeah. thing is, when you see deep breathing, that's when you really want a shield. Yeah, no, that's very true. Because, but ev also everything does more shield damage. Like there's kill setups with deep breathing, exclusively with deep breathing, that just snap shields from full. So, oh wow, we're seeing a total character pick. Okay, so character enough about the Wii Fit. I actually, I'm really curious about this. So, StockTaker did play uh, Villager in Smash 4. And this was the character that he won uh, games 4 and 5 against uh, Ben999 with. He went, he reached into his back pocket and pulled out the Villager and took two games. And, you know, I was saying before how Dill has experience against the Wii Fit, which maybe, you know, doesn't normally happen. I don't think he has much Villager experience, especially in this game. Yeah, there's not many villagers. There's more Isabels than villagers. Which is weird to say. <laughs> I mean, Isabel's cute, so people want to play the cute character. People villagers just kind of awkward. That's not cute. Definitely, th this one is definitely not uh, adorable in, in any sense of the word. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at those eyes. Are you saying you couldn't stick those dead doll eyes on any toy and have it shit millions? Can't sell that it can, Bob. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, that was super cool that right was there. Because nice. okay. <laughs> Neutral Air has such low la uh, end lag in the air, not landing lag, but the end lag in the air, that he was able to Neutral Air and then just double jump Neutral Air. That axe shield poke, by the way, because the tree popped up on Rob's shield. And I, so far, 100% behind this character switch. It seems to be working out really well for him here. Yeah, definitely a lot closer, and he's got something in his pocket for later. That's the gyro, I believe. Has he just been holding onto the gyro this I believe time? that's like a big part of why he went this character. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't realize that uh, Rob could only couldn't spawn another while he was in I the pocket. Believe, I could be wrong about that, and if I am, we'll probably see it. But have you seen Dil pull out a gyro? I haven't. That's yeah. So he huge. He's, yeah, and that's, like, you've seen that. That is how Dill normally gets most of his work done. I think he loses it when he changes stocks, and yeah, immediately pulls out the gyro now. All right. And then throws it away. <laughs> Doesn't want him to pocket it. Yeah, so that'll be actually huge to play around gyro, because you can't leave it on stage as just, like, trying to bait your opponent into sandwiching himself between Rob and the gyro. Now he's always only using it as a projectile and nothing more. And not only that, if he uses it at the wrong time and it gets pocketed, it's just gone for that stop. Yeah. Because I believe pocket also doesn't expire anymore. Not, not in, uh, I guess not with something like that, because he held onto that gyro for what was almost like a minute and a half as they went from 50% to 150% and lost a stock each. Oh, man. And Rob's big body is really hurting Dill right now. You see this, the way that he's just like throwing out these forward airs and back airs. It, it just feels like he can't get in, especially now that he doesn't have gyro as a tool, really. They're just the limited approach options from uh, Rob are just on full display. And now gyros are gone, out of the picture. Especially since Rob is the... Since Rob has a lot of... Is he dead? Oh. Nah. I lost my train of thought completely. Takes the stock, though, and gets the gyro back. I will say, though, Dill doing a great job of showing he doesn't need gyro. Even, you know, he's lost one of his best tool character's best tools, but just playing a little bit more of, like, you know, regular standard fundamentals, he's doing fine. Uh, that's not. Never mind. Well, he, oof, like, that edge guard. You said it already. Rob is so big that he can just pelt him little by little with these rocks. And yeah, by a thousand used, cuts. And he used up all his fuel. He couldn't get anywhere with how like, how much he was using and how much fuel he was using so far away. And Rob, a lot of characters can get around this by crouching and crawling to avoid a lot of these projectiles that are coming from the air. Rob is too big. He can't do that. And like you're going to use arm rotor as a reflector? Like That only gets you harder punished. Yeah. I've seen general it's really cool that today we're seeing a lot of these players' secondaries that normally we don't get the chance to on the weekly basis. 
Yeah, I feel like Stocktaker has played a different character. Like, he's never played the same character in subsequent Ooh. games. That was, uh... Oh, huge. it's so scary! Yeah, I was, gonna, I was also gonna mention that, you know, sort of the solution to, oh, I'm getting pelted constantly. Read an art dodge. Yeah, that was <laughs> just well played overall by Dill. Um, but and we might not see the... I think we might see the villager even for game three. I think we're either gonna see villager or another pocket character. Um, Wolf is the only other pocket that I know he has, unless he's pulling out, like... Isabel's the only other pocket character I can think of. I quit. I mean, historically, <laughs> uh, Dill's problem matchup versus Stock has always been Villager. Like, normally, if he goes not Villager, uh, not that Dill necessarily washes that character, unless it's Wolf, uh, but, sense. like... Honestly, like the past like three times, uh, every time Stock goes Villager, it usually is what gives him the ability to clutch it out versus Dill. And sometimes not even clutch, just like completely just open him up. So the fact that Dill actually got that first game, uh, even to me, it's like that's pretty surprising. So uh, my personal bias. Let's go, Dill. Right, let's go. Is there an echo in here. Sorry. This may not be Philadelphia. But here we got the city of brotherly love. Thank you. Get it? Because they're brothers. Yes. Yeah. In case you didn't know, Dill and Devin <laughs> are, are, uh, are their blood. They're blood. <laughs> <laughs> what? what are you laughing at, <laughs> Anyway, let's get to this game, which is actually completely tied. Uh, yeah, this is... And Dill's playing a lot closer. He's playing top a lot closer to the chest. He isn't pulling it out willy-nilly and just throwing it, though he did right there in order to get, uh, in order to try and get Stocktaker off the ledge. Uh, I believe if you're holding an item and you press B, you can pocket it, by the way. Yeah. In case you Because he was holding Tyro, and if he wanted to just, like, get it into his pocket, he could have pressed B. Drops a couple bowling balls. Like, you know, whatever. Super scary, what a good tech though! And the balloons extending the hitbox on the back air. We ha I don't think we've seen that yet, and that was so smart from Dill. He couldn't even roll given how he, uh, given how the back air pushes Rob forward and how hit huge the hitbox is. Like I don't know, just like maybe jump in or dodge? Could have gotten around know. that. Yeah, that, that move lasted so long. Because isn't there like three frames where you jump is vulnerable before any sort of anything comes out? Like, oh, I mean, like, drop down. And oh, dro down. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But yep. yes, uh, I think it is three frames. Fun fact, in Smash 4, you could not buffer it. In this game, you can. Nice. Oh, he just... He lived. And the off... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look at that this. That was gross. Thing. Still is just doing fantastic job right oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> Dill's popping off. Uh, not Dill. Dill. Dill is internally like. I think he's in game. He's popping off right in now. In game, I he's would popping off, that. and Devin's popping off out of game. <laughs> and we 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 see Villager kind of oh, stop. Wow, is he done? Yeah, he's. That's done. it. He barely took even any damage. That's a three zero. Like we saw the main problem with Villager is like. His, while he has all of these projectiles, he doesn't have a space to reset them. So he's just throwing out one Lloyd rocket, shield that, and wait for wait for him to get close enough to where you can swat him back away and reset the situation over and over and over again. 